So here's what here's what made the game work. It's a mod, and remember, this game is out for what thirty six hours or so. It's kind of exciting. The somebody in the community, namely this guy here make one two three some kind of number m m1 k3 something like that uh not something i can i can really pronounce this guy has created a fix for that so the fix is something that has to do with older cpus in fact let me just go and bring up that wikipedia page about an intel technology called avx i believe avx 512 that's the one so avx and no we're not going to donate today avx is an instruction set for the x64 architecture and i don't know how aware you are of this but technically every cpu that we still use in, in pcs today and uh, anything that's not arm is still kind of based on hardware from i don't know 40 years ago or 50 years ago and at the core it still has that and at some point, they just thought, oh, we have another idea, we have another idea, we have another idea, but we're not going to create another CPU. We're just going to keep the core functions and just build bits around it. The X64 extension as such is such a thing that was bolted on, and if a CPU supports that, you can give it those instructions and it'll work. And AVX512 is another such extension. And that came into play, it says here, in roundabout in July 2013, and uh, in the Xeon Phi core processors, it was added. I suppose any CPU starting 2014, 2015 would have got these instructions bolted on. But CPUs made earlier than that, they don't understand that. And on the Cyberpunk game, they've compiled this saying, hey, the CPU definitely supports this instruction set. And of course, my CPU doesn't. And lots of other users support uh, is also not there. So, so a lot of people just don't have that instruction set. And usually you leave that tick box off they switched it on and somebody in the community figured that out and thought hey it's actually fairly easy to just you know download this patch here which uh, replaces the executable for cyberpunk 2077 and now it looks like the thing doesn't crash anymore hey mr rod mr steve very good to see you this fine evening so that is what i've applied earlier today and i've had a little play with it and so what happens is you download this and then you go put this into wherever your game is installed. So mine is here, Cyberpunk 2077. Then under the bin folder, under x64, that is where most of the executable files are. And this is the original file. You just go and rename that. And then you paste in the file that you get from the download. Kind of rename that also Cyberpunk 2077. And that apparently solves the issue. So I've had a little test run. We can now leave the bar. We can now sit down on the chair in the bloke's office in the corporal thing and it looks like it is kind of working so i'm kind of excited to uh, to basically start a new game and start all over again let's see if we can actually forward the story which we haven't done yesterday remember rod last time yesterday we tried to sit down in this chair about five times and we were never able to do this perhaps today is the day have a seat baby right with you uh, seat. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our Let's bases. do this. Seat voting issue. Sit down. They're gotcha. The only way to... Oh, my goodness. Check it out. Ha, ha, ha. Nice. We can sit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just as we thought. I have a watch the show. Please. He's wearing the face mask already. That's good. Makeshift, but, you know, it's working for him. That's cool. Oh, there we go. That's the exit. Okay, uh, I think we could just about open this door yesterday and this one, but the moment we step out, this is gonna go That fox, that's him. Hey, Groovy, this is where it crashed. So it looks like this patch has literally... Are you talking to me? No, he's on the phone, cool. no problem. Yeah, look at that. We can play it now. This is this is nice. I'm happy. 